But let's waste no time at all now in getting on with our main match, West Ham against Manchester United, a match described as exhilarating, wonderful, a great contest in this morning's newspapers. West Ham at full strength and with a growing confidence after their victory at Tottenham on Boxing Day and looking for the right sort of performance to take to their League Cup semi-final against Stoke on Wednesday in the right frame of mind to meet the league leaders. Manchester United now without centre-half Steve James. He's got a nasty face injury. Paul Edwards replaces him. Otherwise, it's that same menacing mixture from up north. Best outside him and Brooking inside. And still Lampard goes on. A beautifully played ball there for Brooking. Turn back again. And now Redknapp. No! Stopped by Francis Burns. When Redknapp, it seemed, poised perhaps to score his first goal of the season. George Best. A flick there to Law. Brian Kidd. Best at the far side. A best for the header. And how did Ferguson get to that one? By Best. Turn inside now for Brookie. McDowell. Pass Bobby Charlton. Billy Bonds. Brooking right in there. Robson now, can he turn on it? Just fast. And away goes Redknapp for the first time on this side of the field. Getting it across well. Best all and stopped again by Tony Dunn. What a marvellous game Tony Dunn's already having at full back for Manchester United. Taylor. Oh, straight to Dennis Law. Tommy Taylor's back pass. And it's across that goal. And Taylor must be the most relieved man in this packed Upton Park. West Ham still having by far the better of it territorially, still not finding enough openings for their own liking. Hurst now finding Redknapp. Redknapp. Across that goal. No, can someone poke that? Robson. Yes! Brian Robson has done it. seven on the right and Brian Robson who finally squeezed it past Alex Stepney to put West Ham United in the lead Cowley Charlton in the last couple of minutes of the first half now Bobby Charlton putting it across Law is on the end of it and he wasn't far away Probably stubbing off the foot of that West Ham post. One of those jackknife headers by Dennis Law that makes him such a menace in the opponent's penalty areas. There's a lot of pace and a lot of guile about West Ham now when they begin to come forward. Using the wing so very well. And here's Brooking again with another cross in. Hurst. And Edwards putting it as far as Robson who hits one. Dipping and dipping just over that bar. Tommy Taylor, and away, Hurst off in chase again, versus Edwards, Edwards for the moment lost it. Hurst back to Clyde Best, a hit one, and a goal! There was a deflection, but it's a goal and it must go to Clyde Best. So Alex Stepney picks it out of the back of the net, going one way. Clyde Best really clouted that ball, there was a deflection. And Stepney was beaten. McDowell there. Best sending him one way, then the other. And now Kidd hitting one wide. Well, he's disappointed. And I can tell you that George Best is absolutely furious with him. He felt that he should have made more of that chance than that. Bobby Charlton to Willie Morgan. Morgan now in that famous old position of his down the right wing. 
Crossed again there. Law, a tremendous jackknife. What a magnificent overhead kick by Dennis Law. And that couldn't have been more than six inches over that West Ham bar. Generous applause all around for that typical piece of cheek and skill by Dennis Law. Tony Dunn right up. Leaving it for Willie Morgan. Noticeable now that Morgan is deserting the midfield more and more to take up attacking positions. There's the ball to George Best. A back heeler there for Kidd. Over the bar again. And again, Best is furious with Kidd. The virtuosity of this man, Best, has twice opened up the way for Brian Kidd in the last couple of minutes. And twice Brian Kidd has blasted wide. Bonds. to Taylor Sadler away Best a back heel there for Bobby Charlton and now Morgan Kidd inside for Best again he's turned Lampard one way and he's got the shot in There really have been uh, relatively few flashes of the genuine George Best this afternoon. That header early on, and the way he's turned the defence one way and then the other, once or twice in the second half, it's with McDowell. And that really was a nothing. But was that handball? It was handball by Gowling, and it's going to be a penalty for West Ham. Gowling complaining, but the referee having none of it, and I wonder where Jeff Hurst will place this one, remembering how his uh, penalty was saved. His penalty was saved by Banks the last time here. And now it's Hurst against Alex Stepney. And he made no mistake. 3-0 to West Ham. Jeff Hurst the penalty. And poor Alex Stepney from behind his goal there. He hardly could move it. Best. Ooh, Robson didn't go for that one, but it's about the only ball of the whole afternoon he didn't go for, and so Gowling managed to get possession, and now it's with Willie Morgan, flitting past Lampard, a little chip again, but Robson there that time. And Law! Oh, and a fine save by Ferguson! He really had no right to get across the goal as fast as that.